Alright, video for the economics channel. Yay. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, Modern Mystic's been making his usual videos, blah blah blah. Same old, same old. Inflation, deflation, where's the, what's the problem, blah 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 blah. <laughs> um, and he's talking about the Fed again, and money, and again all that crap is pretty irrelevant. And so what we have now, currently, is the Fed is, the way the Fed is keeping the economy going, is it's converting bad assets that the banks hold into good assets. So they're basically giving banks federal's bonds um, for the absolute crap uh, that the banks had. So we're basically just bailing out all the rich people who own stocks and bonds and all that crap that's not worth anything anymore. And uh, the government will hold the bag, so to speak. Um, but yeah, it's all garbage. So. The government has essentially printed a big pile of money because it's produced a bunch of bonds that it can't pay back, has no way to pay back, and uh, it possesses assets that are crap. And it's also, you know, Nick says they haven't printed cash, but they have. The amount of cash in circulation has gone up um, at least uh, 1.5 trillion dollars you know, in the last five years, which is a lot. I mean, it went from three trillion in circulation to five trillion, something like that. So there has been a lot of extra hard cash put into the economy. I mean, you know, a lot in relative terms. But the real key is, is that bonds are cash. So there's no real point in just talking about how much cash, cash there is when bonds are essentially um, cash. I mean, you can, you can, you can transact with a, bo a bond with no real problem. You can trade it and sell it and all that crap. And uh, it certainly is tied to the value of cash. You can't, you can't destroy the value of a bond without destroying the value of cash. The two are directly tied. There's a hard relationship. Um, unlike the soft relationships that exist between, say, a stock price you know, how much your stocks is tradable for um, in cash and its actual value, I mean, what you can really do with it. So stocks will be, you know, they can crash and it won't have anything to do with the value of bonds or money or cash. Um, they're a separate certificate and they can, you know, are separate enough. So they can turn into complete garbage. Um, they can reveal their garbage nature and that's really what the run on the bank is going to be. So here, we, you know, the crash is going to happen and it's going to be the same kind of scenario. There'll be a run. It's going to be a different kind of run. It's not going to be a bunch of average people saying, where's my money? I want my savings back. I need it. I'm unemployed. It's going to be a bunch of people holding all kinds of pieces of paper that say you're entitled. Okay, it's going to, everybody's going to start looking at their certificates and they're going to say, is this Confederate money or is this the real deal? They're not going to want to hold, you know, you're not going to want to hold Google stock when the economy is in a hard recession, when the world is looking all dicey, when there's bankruptcy and crap all over the place. You're not going to be wanting to hold some stupid piece of paper that has a, an actual hard asset value of one cent to your dollar. I mean, you can't sell Google uh, in a hard market, the assets, the buildings, the property, for one cent on the friggin' dollar. And, uh, you know, it's all about future income. And when, when if we're in a hard recession, there ain't no future income. There's no future tax base, there's no nothing. All right, and people are gonna wanna own something real. They're gonna wanna turn their money into the real money. They don't want to be holding this fake money, okay? And a fake money is going to be any stock or, you know, private company stock, that's going to be fake money. Um, you know, until it goes down to fire sale prices. Uh, and that's the thing, is, is that everything will go down so low that the super rich will just buy up everything that's left over. You know, at, at half, you know, instead of it being a penny on a dollar, It'll be a dollar on their penny <laughs> because no one else will have any money because all this stuff has to be converted. Uh, all these fake IOUs 
these fake claims on the future have to be dissolved. And so a lot of people are going to get hurt in doing that dissolving. A lot of rich people too. But I mean, it's got to be a lot of what people think they have is going to be turned into the reality, which is you don't have nothing. You have a debt. And uh, it's like my debt has to be forgiven eventually. I mean, it's just, I can't pay it. It's just not going to happen. I, I, there's no way I can pay the federal government $200,000. It just isn't going to happen. Unless money's not worth anything. Uh, and then there's no point in paying it then. That, that's the paradox. Uh, you know, if you create the hyperinflation that makes it possible for you to pay the bills, there's no point in paying them because your, your money's gone. Value is gone. Your economy is completely broken. Your industry is all fail. So you've, you know, you've definitely, you've stuck a knife in the baby and then thrown it out with the bathwater. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to throw this context in there because Nick talks sometimes like there's only one kind of money in the world and that's cash. <laughs> and that's the illusion. The money is in the form of all kinds of pieces of paper that tell people they own something. And uh, they don't. They can't. There's more claims than there is reality. This is uh, like the producers, that movie, you know, the producers, and then they, they sold, you know, 9,000% of a play because they were going to try to make a failure, and then they could make money that way, and then the play turned out to be a success, so they were holding the bag. Well, this, <laughs> you know, the deal here is, is yeah, uh, we, the, 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 the economy is sold more than exists and uh, there's no way to pay back if you don't own this if there's nothing if the shit don't exist you can't sit there and have three people say I want it you can't have three claims on one apple I guess is a good way to say it and that's basically where the economy is and that's why it's going to fail uh, because they won't come up with a rational way to un unravel that and they're going to force it to crash because they won't do something responsible like take uh, a 10 or 20 year outlook and try to uh, slowly get rid of all the bad debt in some more responsible way <laughs> than to basically tie it to the value of cash which they've done now. Cash won't be worth anything because your cash is being tied to the value of, of um, bad paper and the government's buying trillions trillions of dollars in bad paper from the rich. And all that bad paper is going to make your cash crap. <laughs> that simple. So anyway, so yeah, hard assets, commodity prices are going to go way up. Everything else is going to go way down. And that's going to be the story. My prediction. Soon. <laughs> yeah, I just don't know when. Seems like it should have happened 10 years ago, but they keep clinging on to the bullshit. But it can't last. I'll have to figure out why it can't last. I'll have to figure out exactly what... There's a constituent here. There's a, there is a curve. There's a bar. There's a, a graph that'll show exactly why it's got to happen in five years or ten years or some number. It's probably out there. But, I mean, it's got to happen soon. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. So, until next time, and such.